Hey, Nate. Um, just defensively, what do you see out there tonight? I mean, they put a lot of pressure on your defense. Uh, they do a good job of getting the ball uh, and running out the net off of made baskets uh, with their speed. Uh, they, they put five guys out there for the most part that can handle, uh, can pass, shoot, and dribble, which puts a lot of pressure on your defense. Uh, you, you know, we did a good job of, I think, keeping them in front of us, but they were, uh, I thought we gave them a little bit too much space because they are guys that can shoot off the dribble. Uh, probably, uh, I think, the best catch and shoot team uh, in the league, and they showed tonight their ability to create shots and shoot off the dribble, all of them. Uh, you know, so they just kept pressure. I mean, both halves, uh, they was able to score over 60 points against us. And uh, uh, we just really wasn't able to, uh, to get stops when we needed to. Overall looking at, sorry, overall looking at this game, I mean, when you look at a guy like, like Timothy and what, what he was able to do, I mean, on the defensive side and offensively, what did you see from a guy like that stepping up, a guy like Gallo? Um, and some of those other guys. Well, they, 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 again, they do a good job of, um, of attacking you. I mean, we, we score 127 points. So that's more than enough to win the game. It comes down to defensively uh, being able to stop them. And uh, we weren't able to do that. Uh, Timothy was pretty much matched up with Hayward for most of the night, uh, wanting to try to keep some size and a guy pressuring uh, the ball. But Bridges, uh, you know, was able to create some offense, uh, you know, tonight for them. I mean, all of them, Martin, you know, Ish Smith, I think, you know, had one of his better uh, shooting nights uh, tonight. So we really never was able to uh, stop them and uh, you really uh, gained that momentum. Offensively, did you feel like the intensity was there from you guys? Yeah, I think I think what we were trying to do was guard the best we could. So it's not, I mean, they got guys that can score, you know. So uh, when you are out there, uh, I can't feel that for the players, uh, you know, guys that they are guarding. Uh, you, you're telling them to get up and pressure. Uh, but, you know, you have to uh, adapt to what you can uh, do out there when you're guarding certain individuals. Uh, there were some times where they blew by us, you know, so, um, you know, was the intensity there? I think the intensity was there. Uh, we, it just wasn't good enough. Coach, you've, you've come here a lot, it seems like, after these games and talked about the fact that your team hasn't been able to get stops. Is the message just not getting there or are teams just finding something specific that they're exploiting against you? My team played well tonight. You got to give them credit. You know, as simple as that. Uh, they was on fire. They shot the ball well. They're uh, the highest scoring team in the league. You know, they the best shooting, catch and shoot team in the league. Uh, the first in three point percentage. Uh, so they showed, uh, so it wasn't the intensity wasn't there. Uh, they were better tonight. Charlotte was obviously out without uh, two of their top scorers in Lamelo and, and Rozier. Do you feel like this kind of game is necessary for you guys to have a wake up call that you know d d picking it up defensively is needed to win games? I don't. I don't understand that. Is a wake up? We don't need a wake up call. Uh, we know what we need to do out there, and um, they were better tonight. So uh, we don't need a wake up call. Uh, you know, this is a good team. You know, they missed, they were missing a couple of players. So were we, you know, and uh, uh, defensively, uh, we just didn't play well enough tonight to, uh, to get this win. You know, we gave up 130 points. Uh, uh, that's way more than we normally give up. And uh, it was one of those nights where they were hot and we, we, we just never uh, got the stops we needed. Switching to a Zoom question from Davide Chinalato. Hey, Coach, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, coach, you are 24 games in. What do you think about the season your team is having? Are you happy with the point you are? What do you think you need to work on? I, I mean, I don't judge my team after 20-some games. You know, uh, look at tonight. We didn't do what we needed to do tonight, uh, you know, as far as getting the stops. I thought offensively, we were able to score enough points. Uh, but defensively, uh, I think their speed, their ability to uh, uh, attack from five positions, 
uh, caused us some some problems. They spread us out. And, you know, they're four and five uh, guys, uh, Washington and, and Bridges. Those guys are playmakers. Uh, you know, it's like playing against a guard out there. And, uh, you know, so they do a good job of spreading the floor and attacking you, ta attacking matchups. And uh, they shoot a high percentage doing that. Thanks, Coach.